Okay, here we are guys. This is a change of the intake. Uh, that's not my purpose today. The change, the, my purpose today is to change the gear box selector, uh, shifter, electric motor, saver, motor I think it's called too. It's got different names. It's the one right there, this little thing. And so um, we're gonna remove this, right? We're gonna unscrew it, unscrew it here as well, this band. And the most difficult one is this one right here, right there, yeah? <clears throat> so this one, you would need um, a star. I saw some videos, they would say, do an Allen, so be careful, put your phone in there, make a video just to make sure you know exactly what it looks like before you screw uh, you you screw the screw so um <clears throat> yeah that's how and we're gonna take this out once we loosen this up we're gonna take out lifting this side up and pushing downwards to the to the muffler all the way there uh, i was doing it wrong uh, i couldn't find a video uh, but if you saw a page where it would say uh, lift up here and uh, uh, go downwards. So no upwards, downwards. Okay, so usually it's about a strength. This time it's not, look at that little ball there. You have to pop it out. So I initially said like this, no, just go in here and pop this out. Otherwise this thing will never come out. So our next step is to slide this all the way down as much as possible and try to get a screw there and a screw here same size just take those out take that bar out that way you can take this out. It's crazy okay that was difficult but there it is so we got that bolt out that was easy I couldn't really push this back I don't know why I just couldn't back and then I went there with my little hands and um this little ratchet and i managed to get it out you gotta have little hands man this is really really tiny i couldn't maybe you guys can push it all the way down but i couldn't so now let's take this part out so also remove this hose right here this one just put something in there to open it up a little bit and just put it right out and come on there it is you push this uh like this this way and upwards and you just manage to go right past this just be careful but yeah and it will come out very difficult but it's out so yesterday took me about 30 minutes now this part is out and today another 30 minutes so far and we got that out the screws for this part i'm gonna change you can easily see it there so make sure actually i should say this at the very beginning uh you this is a t40 on my car just be careful use the right one because if you fuck this up then it's not gonna remove and it's gonna be hard uh soak this uh probably 30 minutes i would say a day before because um, these are very glued in there and sometimes they're rusted so next step you want to do is to cover this with some tape so you don't get dust in there okay so here we got the shop here we uh, went to get this done in there they wanted eighteen hundred dollars for this shit so while they are uh, on uh, holidays i'm gonna do this when they come back on monday this part is fixed so no excuses let's see what is what else is next wrong with it so here we got the new one and uh, over there i didn't know how to unclip this but you can obviously see this so maybe you slide a screw under and unclip it or something like that make sure you don't break it and yeah let's hope we put this baby properly okay so yep just unclipping it here here you press right you press really hard and then it comes out no not really hard anymore once you know where to push. Uh, and like I said, take your time. I know sometimes when you do mechanical work, you rush, but 
um, just spray a little bit I am so happy that they are loose already very happy because if these things are rusted like I said earlier and they don't come out this whole job was for nothing so it took a little bit more uh, and it spray a little bit more of only 40 you should watch this video completely before you do anything I think and then leave uh, this one last so it's easy to remove it it's gonna be a lot easier to remove it that's it guys he went out finally the does get lubricated eventually so I think we're good here ready to put it back